Okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead. What if I told you that for just $5, you could put, put food on the table for life? I'm Sam from Seedables. Right now, food insecurity is one of the biggest issues in the Philippines, with 6 out of 10 Filipinos facing chronic food insecurity. Our mission then to address this is simple. We want food on the table of every household for every tomorrow. And we do this by building resilient communities, by helping them sow seeds today to grow food for their tomorrow. Our concept takes inspiration from the Filipino word bayanihan, which is a play on the words nation and hero. Coincidentally, it also contains the word anihan, which means harvest. Because for us at Seedables, we believe that being a hero is inspiring everyday and ordinary citizens to become everyday heroes, growing, harvesting, and sharing food in the spirit of uplifting the whole community. We started this in Barangay Holy Spirit with just $5, some serious ingenuity, and some upcycled items. We turned this dumping ground into a prosperous community garden. And right now, we serve about 70 households within that garden. This is a Seedables plant kit. It's a mindful package with everything you need to get started on your planting journey. And we concoct this, we create this plant kit with our agri-care team from nearby provinces, with farmers from nearby provinces. So it's carefully crafted, lovingly made, and it's, code, it's developed especially for beginners in mind. With your purchase of one plant kit, $5 goes to community gardens. <coughs> In a span of um, about two years, so we started in August 2020, we've worked with low-income farmers and unemployed uh, poor individuals. And we've also gotten over 300 clients or 300 customers and four corporate clients. And with the profit that we made, we helped three community, community gardens and over 158 households. So again, with your purchase and with your help, we can do more and live out the spirit of Bayanihan. Ordinary citizens becoming everyday heroes, growing and harvesting food and sharing it uh, in the spirit of uplifting the whole community. Thank you. Questions? I never heard this before. Uh, like you always said, USAID. So like, what's your part in this project? I'm the founder. You're the founder. Project, yes. And how long is it? So we started in August 2020, but uh, in the past few months, we've taken a short break because I've been focusing on work. Okay. Yeah. But so far, like, we still have some supplies. So in terms of, like, our corporate clients, we still provide to them. <clears throat> One thing about community garden that always fails is because uh, to take care of a plot of land is not easy. Mm -hmm. You need maintenance, you need people to always yes. go back. So how does that five dollar then continue to do that job um, mm. to maintain the community garden and maintain the right. supply of food? One thing we do with community gardens, like the work that we do, is not just about providing money, but it's also getting their buy-in and in their investment, right? So when we talk to, for example, a group, uh, an urban poor community, we talk to them about whether or not they're having problems with accessing food, especially during the pandemic. And if they're really willing, that's when we start to work with them. So we need that initial buy-in and we make them invest as well. So it's not only your $5 that's going into this, this project, it's also their money and their time that's going into it. So because of that, they're also pretty invested in it as well. So can we say that after the first initial setup, they will still have to buy seeds, buy nutrients, every now and then to refurbish a piece of land? Yes, yes. But for that, usually they co-contribute already because once we help them set up, it's not just like, oh, okay, like here's money, let's build this community garden. It's also about appointing the right people to help manage it. So, yeah, so <coughs> therefore it, that helps it become more sustainable in the long run. Do you have a business model? Yes. So for our business model, we actually uh, sell these plant kits. So there's B2B and B2C. So for B2B, we sell to like corporate clients, like when they want like giveaways, or for example, we sell them to schools. Mm -hmm. If we want, if like the teachers or the schools want to teach like children how to grow their own food. We also have a B2C market. Our market is usually composed of like parents, like young parents who want to teach their kids, who want to try a new hobby. Um, so that's our two revenue streams. 
So 50% of our profit goes back to the business to reinvest in everything, but the other 50% goes to the community garden. Subscribe ke bern.id Dan jangan lupa untuk mengunduh Pranala App Untuk video terbaru, kamu bisa klik video di kanan atas Dan untuk video rekomendasi, bisa klik video di kanan bawah Terima kasih